Welcome back. Now we're going to talk about what is a commandlet. Since you're the professional here, Kirk, tell us how many commandlets or how do we work with a commandlet or what is it? <laughs> uh, what is it? Basically, it's a basic unit of operation that allows you to get a task done. The textbook definition is a specialized .NET class that implements a specific task or operation. Think of it as like an executable file. Um, it does have um, required parameters that must be done or you get an error message. And then additionally, it actually has optional parameters that you can add on to it that allows you to get more control and more operation, that you get more results back from what you're trying to get. Um, in general, the construct of a, of a commandlet is a verb, noun. Uh, verbs are action-oriented words such as add, get, set, update, remove, um, Nouns basically describe what commands can be acted upon, like SP site, SP users, SP content database, um, SP search, that sort of thing. And just to note that all of the nouns for SharePoint start with SP. Mm -hmm. And the way that most commandlets are actually constructed, that's not just SharePoint specific. I could tell you, look by the name of a commandlet, what product that it actually is. If you look at the commandlets, you may see one that just says, like, get service. That's a core Windows function commandlet. Has nothing to do with SharePoint. You may have some that say, get Azure. That's an Azure commandlet. You may have some that say, uh, new AD user. That's Active Directory product. You may have some others that are third party, and I could probably tell you what they were as well. But basically, the construct of the noun will tell you exactly what product that you're basically in. And all that's basically built on, you go back to the first slide, it's all actually built on what the module name is for that particular commandlet. Modules contain commandlets. So when the developer builds that, that particular object, mm -hmm. that .dll, they're actually concluding the commandlets in that particular DLL. And just for SharePoint, the core SharePoint commandlet uh, module name is Microsoft.SharePoint.PowerShell.DLL. And currently in the SharePoint Server 2016 product, we have 893 commandments. That's, that's a lot to, for an yeah. individual to try to right. remember, too. Right. It is. It so is. Um, just make sure that you go to the resource section of this course, <laughs> and we'll make sure that you're connected through to the link for all of those different commandlets so that you can start to uh, build your own syntax right. and whatnot. And right. then um, I, I, oh, why... why do we want to use the verb noun? So, like, it's an action, and then... It's an action. So basically, for an example, I have like two I could give you off the top of my head. It'd be like get SB site. Get is the is the actually going to be the verb. What you want to do, you want to get something back, mm -hmm. return the display to the screen. SP site is going to be an actual part of the site collection. So you want to say get SP site means give me all the site collections that are in the farm, in my farm. And if you just type in get SP site collection, it's going to return everything into the farm. Mm -hmm. But with that that particular command that we actually have parameters. Mm. You can say, I want to get site collections on a specific site collection name, whether mm. it's, you know, HTTP site, you know, forward slash sites one. Give me all the subsites underneath that. You can do that with this commandlet. Mm. Another one might be like new SP content database. I want to create a new content database in SharePoint. How do I do that? It's the new SP, SP content database. New is the verb, SP content database is the actual noun. And you want to figure out how do I find out if there's more of a particular, you know, SP content database. You can do wildcard searches. You can use, you know, later on in the module, there's a, the, the get help command. With wildcard searching, we can tear it down and get down a list from 893 down to like four or five of that noun. And then from there, you can figure out which ones you want to use. So you're not expected to remember everything or um, remember it off your top of your head to be no. able to build something. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take years to remember this stuff. Yeah. I mean, and obviously, you've been here for a long time yeah, developing that long. kind. Mm -hmm. So um, when we come back, we're going to actually talk about the permissions in PowerShell because that's really important. Yes. Um, because while we have all of these wonderful um, commandlets that we can use, they're not for everybody. No, they're not. <laughs> so no. um, when we come back, we'll talk about permissions and PowerShell.